Welcome back. This is going to be part two of golf cart off-roading. As you can see, got a pretty nice sunrise. So we're going to go over to our location. We've got some ice on here. So it's a cold morning. Got below freezing. It's been a little over a year since the last video. Marcus tree, we're gonna ram into trees. Ram into trees. Last video. So this is kind of a long shot, but we'll see what we can do. Come on. After taking the cover off, we can reveal our frozen golf cart. This is mostly ice. <sighs> Anyways, as you can see, it's a lot different than it was before. No cover, tires, this front tires. Are almost completely bald, as you can see. Both of these are. The front end is all messed up. And, uh, yeah, back tires are a little bit better, but they're still pretty bad. As you can see, this whole seat moves around now so yeah this was all a funny story how this happened um everything else is good though so there's an update on the actual vehicle now we're gonna take this thing over to the top of a hill really quick i'm gonna have to cold start to see if this thing starts up in the last video this was our gas tank we're gonna start with a gas tank and we're gonna end with a gas tank now it's a camera We'll be using that later. Come on, can I cold start without putting the choke in? Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Ah! There goes my gas tank. Ah, my gas tank. Don't worry, the main video will start later when I'm more awake so I can actually talk. Get the license plate out of the view. There we go. So now we're gonna take this up to the hill and get our view. It's a cold start. Ugh. Also, before we actually start the video, I wanna ask a question. You can put in the comments below. Does anyone know what these are? Now I'm over here in northern Michigan and they might be trilliums, but we'll find out shortly. But if anyone has an idea of what these are, this might be something completely different. Please put in the comments below. And they're all over the place, as you might see. So, we're going to go over to the hill and see what kind of view we can get. Come on. Oh, this is treacherous to these trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, it's already getting better. We're not even to the top. This one, see. Come on. It's a cold start. There's my tent. Oh, shoot. My tent blew over again. So we're going to have to take care of that. Okay. Oh, it's nice today. Come on. Come on. 
Get the heck out of there. Did I just, let's see if I just, okay, it's fine. Oh, my hand's cold. It's below freezing out here right now. But wow, you can see uh, the glare from the sun on the water. Let's see if I can get a good spot. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's really cool though. I'm gonna have to get a picture of that. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we got a tent. We gotta take care of this tent really quick before we start the video because we need to have our clean driving space. Our riding space or whatever. So this thing blew over twice. I put stakes in it and the stakes just popped right out. But apparently this needs to be secured a little bit better. And this is trying to go on other people's property so we're gonna have to secure this. <sighs> Oh, is it going to hit trees on the way down? Let's see if I can just roll down. That'll be cool. You can hear the stakes. I put it inside the tent. Come on. This thing rolls way too easy. It could just travel a million miles in like three days. Okay, well, that's good enough. Oh, and one more thing. If you're all curious um, how this thing got destroyed, I mean, not quite destroyed, but you know what I mean. You can insert a clip right now. Now that was the first time I rolled the golf cart and it destroyed the top completely. But it was rolled a second time by the crew in this clip. That came from the, <laughs> we flipped it again. We flipped it again. We were going down the road. We flipped it and I broke my leg, I think. I freaking broke my leg. We gotta stop rolling this. We're gonna get killed eventually, damn it. And that was just painful. And it could have really hurt someone. So yeah, it's just, uh, that's just wonderful. Okay, it's been about three hours and um, I'm gonna actually warm up the engine before I go on the trail riding. So I'm gonna take this couple miles over to the beach. So yeah, we're taking this to the beach. Oh. Anyway, I'll see you at the beach. So technically this isn't my beach. Also don't look at any of the signs. So I'm just gonna park right over there because I wanna avoid all problems. Okay, I'm not gonna say which highway this is, but you can probably figure that out. But uh, I could take my golf cart down this because of the current problems around the world right now. So there's not really a lot of people around here. Anyway, oh, don't, don't, don't read the sign, but it says private beach. You can see it right here. Pri yeah. Oh, darn it, this thing is a really wide angle. Uh, anyway, it's a very nice day here at the beach, etc., etc. And now I had enough, let's go back. Someone, right. I, I left the key and everything. Yeah. All right, engine's now good, warmed up. We're gonna grab our gas tank. Come on, gas tank, gas tank. And got the gas tank. And we're gonna move. We're gonna set up the gas tank somewhere so we can get a good shot. I'm trying to think if I should get a back shot first or a frontal shot. I think we're gonna get a back shot first. So we're gonna set up this camera really quick. We're gonna set up the gas tank really somewhere. So we get and where are we gonna put it? Let's see here. It's, it's hard, it's hard to say where I want the camera. Oh, that's where I'm gonna put it. Okay, right there. Okay. I 
think we got it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna save this part for later because it gets pretty cool. But got that shot. We're gonna get the next shot. As you can see, the whole seat moved. So we made a lot of progress here. So let's go get our gas tank. Okay, moving on to our next part right here as you can see there's like a mound thingy here and it gets up on two wheels oh it just dug itself a huge hole let's see if we can push it though oh look at this whole wheels off the ground uh, look at that this whole wheel is off the ground <laughs> we should we might be able to push this so let's try pushing it it's still turning hopefully oh wait that camera's not catching let's see what is this camera doing oh it's only getting the front shots that's lame okay. but, see, this wheel is off the stage. Oh, oh, oh. We can look at our damages. As you can see, we did quite a bit of damage. And fortunately, I didn't get it on there that well. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up through this angle here. As you can see, there's a huge pit here. And not too long ago, this pit right here, not too long ago, I actually fell into the pit. And the whole thing was about ready to roll but it didn't actually roll and i was able to get it through it kind of wasn't a big deal so that's cool anyway let's set up the camera in a different spot now okay i got that camera up there in a good spot so we're gonna uh just ran that stump over Woo! i don't know if you saw that oh shoot 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 try to back up here Oh, oh, okay. So let's see if we can... Oh, I'm still in reverse. Jeez, I thought I wasn't in reverse anymore. That sucks. Come on. We're going to go over here now. Oh, hit all the trees. Oh, shoot. That one's trying to... That one's trying to kill me. Ah. Okay. Let's go to that spot. And there's more than just this. This, uh, we have some jumps that we're going to hit later. So, um, this is just, we're just starting out. This is nothing. Uh, where is it? Right here. It's right here. Okay, this, this is, I'm gonna like start slow and then go fast, I think. Because if I screw this up, it could be bad. Also, let me move my body over so it doesn't roll. Okay. Oh, oh shoot, shoot, no. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, that's enough of that spot. I don't need to showcase that anymore. Okay, this brake. When I put the new brakes in, uh, one of the brakes, I think it's the driver's side brake, doesn't really work when I installed it. So 
there's like barely any tension and the parking brake doesn't work very well so i got to be careful so it's it's like a loose everything the brakes are loose so oh turn the camera off now our next spot is going to be over there kind of by the tent where we're going to do some jumps and stuff like that so let's get our gas tank Okay, we're gonna hit this really quick. This is a like a really steep. What's going on? Hold on. Something's going on here. It's a steep mini hill. We got this stick that's going up in here, causing problems. Come on. Are you serious right now? Okay, there it goes. Yeah, that's not good. That would screw up a belt and a bunch of other stuff probably. Anyway. Mini hill time. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got that on camera. That 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 stick right there just popped me way up. I I even got ear time. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I'm gonna hit the camera. Oh. Uh, okay, that was cool. Is this off the ground? Almost. Looks like we ran into another problem. So as you can see, a key is turned on and nothing happens. Probably, oh, the seat's messed up again. Probably the solenoid because I had to get like three of these. And as you can see, that's like really loose because the bolts don't match. Well, the bolts are kind of stripped out and they don't match. So you got to get it lined up perfectly. Yeah, there, oh, there it goes. So, should be good now, line the seat up. And we're good. Okay. This is just a hill climb. I doubt I'm going to make this, but I'll try. Oh, I'm actually making this. This is the first time I've made this in months. I normally take a different route. Okay. Well, that was kind of lame. I doubt I'm going to make this. I don't want to tear up. I don't want to tear up the yard because the neighbors are right there. Screw you, neighbor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Next, we're gonna do the other hill climb. It's the same hill but a different trail. So we're gonna go this way. Okay. So I hit both jumps, and I did this really cool burnout here. The only thing I got of it is that camera, and that wasn't even aiming right. But anyways. I didn't get any of this on camera because I was in photo mode. But as you can see, uh, yeah, it might be a problem. I got it on that camera though, unless it changed. But if I move this, you can see the whole thing moves. And yeah, here's what looks like underneath it. So, I mean, the only way you can get this out is if you pull it with a different vehicle, I think. Because, yeah, you're not going to back out because the bottom is hitting. So, yeah. It's kind of funny. That's how it goes. So, this is going to be the end. Um, unless I can try and get this out. kind of sucks that the recorder failed, though. Do any of the wheels touch or is it just being weird? Look, they're both spinning. So both wheels are spinning. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out on my own time. I just buried it. Wait, wait, wait. 
the back end is hitting the ground. I think, I think it's over. Oh. It's not even touching. It's not even touching. <laughs> oh no. might have a problem that we're gonna have to address. Okay, let's see if we can steer and just leaves. Hopefully it works. got ourselves into a problem. So here's the cool thing about golf carts. You can just move the front end.
And that's why a golf cart should be your vehicle of choice for off-roading. As you can see, this thing can take a beating and pretty much take you anywhere. As you can see, we completely cleared this whole area. Now we gotta proceed through uncharted territory. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Ah, let's try and go through here. Let's try and go through these sticks. Circle one. Now we move on. Oh, wait, hold on. One more thing that I should mention. Towards the beginning of the video, I mentioned those plants that were all over on the ground. Well, those plants are called ramps. It has been almost confirmed. Uh, they're widely in the area up here in northern Michigan. And they're used in many cooking recipes as a spice. They're more related to an onion or chives because of their characteristic as a spice. They add much flavor to many meals. Also, when the golf cart was stuck in that divot, or whatever you want to call it, from a tree falling over years ago, that's what I'm guessing it is anyway, I was able to get it unstuck with a jack, and a log. I lifted part of the back up and then put some sticks underneath the golf cart and then I was able to move the front end a little bit and get it unstuck. Thank you for watching. Normally I would say please like and subscribe but obviously we all want you to do that anyway. That's what every YouTube channel wants you to do. So I mean why would you tell someone the obvious? But anyway Thank you for watching this far into the video, and as you can see here, we have an electric bicycle, and hopefully we'll be making some new content with that in the recent months. I'm ordering a new battery, an upgrade that will connect to the original stock battery that will give it much more capabilities, and it will have the capability of breaking several Guinness World Records. I mean, it's not a huge battery, but the reason why no one probably beat it since 2018 or 2016 is because there's like a fee to apply for the actual world record. So, whatever. I mean, it's cool. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and here's a few extra clips that has to do with golf carts. I hope you enjoy. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. <laughs> the wall.